Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> welcome to today's Zoom. And today we're going to do. Uh, welcome, welcome. Yes, we're going to do a slight training on colors to success. But first, I'm going to hand the, the mic over to Nate so we can fill you guys on what's going on in the challenge. Go ahead, Nate. All right, everybody. Today, today we're going to go over real quickly and just recap. The very first day we had you set up your Facebook page. If you haven't done that yet, please do that. It is crucial to your success. Um, you've got to make it appealing to everybody that visits your page. So make sure you have all of your info filled out. Uh, make sure that you're putting your music likes, your, your, everything you like about yourself and that kind of thing on there so that it's more appealing. So when people click on it, they go, oh, wow, this, this guy's interesting, or this gal's interesting. Mm -hmm. I think I wanna be their friend. Okay, so, and, and if you put, I put my, the link to HempWorks on there, just because I want everybody to know that I'm doing HempWorks. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that, but that's just what I did. Um, also, on day two, is really the, one, the day one of our launch, um, you'll need to go in, to to Tara's link tree and copy and post the very first post there. That is on top of the one you did that says, hey, everybody, guess what I've got myself into. Right. That is your very first post that you need, everybody needs to do. That sets you up in a line of succession with these rest of these posts. Um, it just introduces yourself to the community saying, hey, look what I'm doing. I'm in hemp works. We're going to rock and roll this. And then what you do the next day is you follow up and, and reply to all those questions or all the comments that you get on that post. Then you do the same thing on day two, which is day one of the launch. Um, you go and make your post. Remember to remove the link out of it. Um, but go make your post. And then you want to follow up, follow up with that on the second day after the post and follow up with it every day after that and just comment on everybody that likes it. Even if they just like it, you can go in and, and like and comment on some of their, their posts. So make sure you're interactive with everybody that, that's inter interactive with you. It will help build your team and it'll help build everything else that you're trying to do. Um, also, everybody, make sure that you set your you set up your auto ship. It'll help you in rank advancement as well as keep you active, and that's important. You don't want to lose the team that you built. Right. So anyway, that's all I had to say, Jed. All right. I'm turning the mic back over to you, bro. <laughs> nice job, bro. Thanks, man. Perfect. You bet. So you guys got the intel on what you need to do and what needs to be happening for you to be successful in this challenge. And now we are gonna go ahead and start the short but powerful colors, my colors to success training that most people know about if they know me. So I know of no other subject you guys, when used correctly, can have such a positive impact on your life or your business. This stuff works, you guys. People fall asleep when you say pillomatic, singui, mel melacone, and color oak. I don't even know if I said those right, you guys. I just said them because they're hard, too hard, to, too hard to pronounce. But but they understand colors, and you can easily learn to tell your way to the top by learning these colors. Following is a brief uh, training about the colors for you guys. Okay. If you want to know more, you'll have to get with me, and I'll teach you all I know. For now, you'll have just. So you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So here we go. Yellows. Yellows make up 35% of the population. They are nurses, school teachers, UN workers, they're nurturers. They give from the heart. They don't have time for themselves because they give to everybody else. Yellows have built some of the largest organizations in the network marketing industry today. When they have the belief they can do it, they do it clear to the top, you guys. Now, how to sponsor a yellow. To color your way to the top, you need to learn to be a chameleon. Yellows don't want to be sold. They don't like pushy, aggressive people. When you talk with a yellow, become a yellow. Slow the pace. Contain your excitement. Lower the volume. 
The LOC excitement is hype. You're trying to sell them. Don't try, don't tell Yellow about making 10 grand a month because you'll turn them off. Instead, visit with them. Family, the kids. Sorry. Yellows cannot work in a stair step breakaway type of competition. They have to be in a plan where you can put them underneath people and people underneath people. They're best in any kind of infinity plan that pays them to work deep, deep, deep. Just like our plan, you guys. They'll never be happy in a unit level or stair step breakaway plan where you put people in the front line. Until you hit a certain volume amount, then you put another five people in your front line, etc. Success on this plan requires all your team or all your time spent on massive first level recruiting. This does not work for yellows. MLM industry states show that average network marketer only sponsors 2.7 people. So if your yellow sponsors three people and they have to go five wide, then they haven't done anything. But at two wide, then they can put one of their three underneath somebody. And the average people can sponsor three. Now you've got some spillover. And then here and there, you'll get a serious builder, business builder who sponsors eight to 10 people a month. And you get some more spillover. When more people work together, you get synergy. So that conversation plan works great with yellows. Okay, moving right along, you guys. Blues. Blues just wanna have fun. They make up 30, they make up 15% of the population. They're always in sales business of some kind. They jump from program to program to program looking for fun. These are the plant's most creative people. A blue sees the picture instantly. They don't need or want all the details. Blues can eat an elephant, but not in one meal. They're same as yellows as far as it goes to the compensation plan. In, in this same comp plan, they can go deep to create massive spillover and a lot of stuff happening quick for them. This gets them really excited and, they, and they'll stay in the business if this happens. With the blue, talk excited, get excited. Talk about going scuba diving, skydiving, having fun, fun, fun. <laughs> That's what they want. Hey, when you meet me at the airport, I'll be wearing a Hawaiian shirt. You will know me, I'll have a big funny hat on. That's what they wanna talk about. <laughs> Does it sound like, somebody, sound like somebody familiar, you guys? Uh -huh. They talk about vacations and family and critters. Most of all, they want to talk about fun, fun things to do. If it ain't fun, it's not worth it, right, guys? Yep. Moving right along, we've got the green. Greens are 35% of the population, guys. They are analytical people, they analyze it. You know, a few people in our group that are just like this. They've missed millions of dollars of opportunities because they analyze it too long. Greens can take the blues idea to the next level though. They work well in a, any type of complicated compensation plan. They like to figure out the star, the superstar space commander bonus that is paid out on the third, ninth, and twelfth levels every other full moon. <laughs> no. Greens believe they're the smartest freaking people on the planet. With the green, in two or three minutes, you'll know you have a green. They want all the details. They want all the details. You are not going to sell them. Don't even try. They have to sell themselves, you guys. They'll go to the website. They'll listen to the conference calls. Then they'll go to the next website and the next link. If you have 27 links on your website, they'll go to every one. They'll read all the testimonials and all the articles, etc. Indicate all your words correctly for a green. Don't speak too fast. Don't speak too slow and be up front. Give them all the information. Answer all their questions. Give them more websites to go to if they ask. If you call in the meantime to answer their questions, they'll be abrupt. They'll see that you're being pushy. Let, let Greens analyze the information at their own pace. In a week or two or three, they'll call back for more information and ready to start. They told them to they've decided this is the perfect business for them. Greens want to be fed a blue, greens, greens want to feed a blue, the elephant in one meal. And that's the way the green will build the business. Now remember again, greens and yellows, they're, they take forever to decide, but once you get them on your team, they're lifers. And another cool part about greens and yellows, 
is they know more and more greens and yellows. And they are green and yellows. Mm -hmm. they, they can sell, they can get other greens and yellows to do things, which is almost completely impossible. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Last but not least, reds. Reds are 15% of the population. They are money motivated, money focused. Don't bother talking about them, about their family or their vacations. They don't care. <laughs> they, they know if you get married, you're supposed to have kids. If you have kids, you're supposed to go on a vacation. End of story. They don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right. How to sponsor a red. This is, this is good, you guys. You ready? They want to talk about the money. The money, the money. Reds do well in a stair-step breakaway composition plan because they think network marketing is a sales business. For them, it sells. Sell, sell. In a, in a stair-step plan, they can put five people If only one produces, they never go back and put them in one another. They're just looking for producers, somebody who will build it. Build it, build it. The red knows that once they put, once that first productive person in the first group hit, hits uh, 50,000 volume, then, then they'll break away. And the reds override drops from 15% to 5% because the other 10% go to the person who built it. Crazy stuff, huh, guys? That's fine for a red because they understand their job is to find another red and keep getting those 5% retentions. For them, it's a sales business. Reds are the corporate CEOs, the get her done type people, the ones everyone in network marketing is pretty much but it's a falsehood. Reds are just 15% of the population, and they're absolutely completely coachable. They have the biggest egos. They order people around. It works in a corporate America, but it barely, doesn't hardly work in network marketing. When a red demands that people get on conference calls, he drives his people away. On the other hand, reds are well connected. You want to sponsor reds because they'll put you in contact with very, very powerful people. They know business owners, they know governors, mayors, leaders, etc. So target reds, but don't even dare think about, don't even dare think you're going to coach them or mentor them or tell them what to do because it's not going to happen, you guys. Let them do it themselves. You really have no choice anyway. But network marketing is not a sales business. It's a teaching and mentoring business, you guys. That's what I learned a long time ago from Big Al's. When you find people massively successful in a stair-step breakaway type comp plan, they are the reds, the sales people. But with that plan, retention is very low. If they recruit a few people in a year, they've got just a handful left by the end of the year. But with the yellow, if they recruit 100 people in the business, they'll teach and mentor and they'll work deep down in the organization and they may have 60 or 70 still active. Okay. A real short story here for you guys. Uh, I'm actually going to skip that and go right down to this. All right. Looks like we got somebody laughing. I can't even begin to tell you how different my life is since learning how to spot and work with each of these personality colors, you guys. Maybe the biggest change is this to spot these personalities, you must listen to people. And wonderful things seem to happen when you actually listen to them. Everyone is a blend of all these colors. Personally, me, I'm 40 blue, 30% red, 20 green, and 10 yellow. <laughs> but I've learned to be a chameleon. Hey. Training, shut up. It used to be when I came across green, 35% of the population, remember, I saw someone who took forever to make it. They'd analyze it to death. They drove me crazy. So I'd blow them off. I wouldn't even return it to the But look at this, he said. I was losing 35% of the pressure. And when the green joins, they never quit. Um, they'll, they're not like the blues. You can't put a blue in the business tonight, but they'll do like You can put a blue in the business tonight, but they'll, do, but they'll never do anything. They'll never even activate their business. They'll just join because they thought it would be fun. But the blues, again, remember, will put you in contact with a lot of good people. So the biggest secret for me was learning that network marketing is not a sales business, you guys. It's a teaching and mentoring. Yeah. No wonder the yellows and the greens are so good at MLM and they make up 70% of the population. 
So let the yellows and the greens know that it's not their fault, you guys. The cards have been stacked against them in network marketing. And the reds have been telling everybody the whole time that it's a sales business. Sell, sell, sell. <laughs> it has nothing to do with selling. It has everything to do with teaching, training, coaching, and mentoring people. All right, you guys. Right on, bro. Awesome. Thanks for coming. It was awesome. We'll have to do this again. Like thank tomorrow. you. And uh, thanks, Nate, for all the help. And Paul, thanks for coming. I know it was yeah, a, you bet, bro. a little mastermind group tonight, but that's perfect. Let's go get it done. And for everybody watching, don't forget to pop on over to Jedediah Health, CBD for Better Health, Health and Wealth with, with Nate. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.